From fans speculating that Dwight will become an ATF or FBI informant in season two, to the massive production challenges Taylor Sheridan needs to overcome, here's what to expect from Tulsa King season two. The series was a surprise for fans who've been hooked to Yellowstone and its spin-offs, as well as those who have been following Sylvester Stallone's career since the first Rocky movie. Series creator Taylor Sheridan keeps proving that he can dominate the TV space with any genre you throw at him. Tulsa King's currently sitting at a healthy 8.1 on IMDb and holds a 90% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's hardly surprising that the show was renewed for a second season after three episodes. But what's next for Dwight Manfredi? And how will he deal with Stacy's betrayal? Fans have a lot of burning questions that they want answered in season two. But there's a theory that transforms Dwight into an ATF or FBI informant. In the season one finale, Dwight's taken to jail because of his violent and often shady dealings and his millions of dollars held in various bank accounts. But what he really needs to worry about is being charged with bribing a federal agent. Stacy made sure of that when she turned him in. If he gets convicted, he's facing up to 15 years in prison. And something tells me he'd rather die than go back to prison. He spent 25 long years of his life behind bars. And a fan theory suggests that he's going to make a deal with the ATF to get out of jail. The ATF has the flash drive he used to bribe Stacy, so they've got everything they need to throw him in prison for good. But he still has connections to the underworld. And don't forget, this is Dwight Manfredi we're talking about. If the ATF refuses to play ball, then his next option is the FBI. The only question is, who would he rat out? That is, if he actually went through with it. Chicky and Vernizzi? Vince Antonacci? He's going to have a hard time doing that since he doesn't have anything solid on those two. The season one finale gave us the solution to that problem. One of the questions that it left unanswered was whether Pete, Chicky, or both ordered a hit on Dwight while he was in prison. Manny said that Pete ordered it, but the episode clarified that Manny left the Invernizzi family in 1998. Would he really know the details about the hit if he left the family so soon? There's no solid answer, but I'm sure Sheridan's got it figured out in that creative mind of his. Stacy's betrayal came as a shock to both Dwight and the audiences. So how will he deal with that once he's out? That's a question everyone has on their minds. And the answer is a fan theory that says he'll get revenge by heating things up with Margaret. She only appeared in episode three, and the on-screen chemistry between her and Stallone was undeniable. He thinks that her businesses are a good investment opportunity, but she's also a powerful and influential woman. On the flip side, this means that her ex-husband will jump back into the picture. He'll pose as a minor antagonist for season two, and will try his best to derail Dwight's business opportunities, as well as his hopes for romance. Well, I wouldn't use the word romance, but you get the idea. There's one question that everyone wants answered in season two, and it's about Chicky assaulting Emery and murdering his father in cold blood. We've seen the story of a son who hates his father for the way he runs his crime family before. Tulsa King didn't reinvent the wheel here, but it's a cliche that works. Chicky reached a point where he knew that he couldn't do things his way if his father was still in the picture. So he pushed Pete's head underwater and told everyone that he had a heart attack. Fans will expect Chicky to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dwight in season two, but they also expect the world to find out what he did to his father. It's not something that can be kept under wraps forever, and it'll be awesome to finally see him get what's coming to him. Season two will be epic, and you can be sure Sheridan has a few aces up his sleeves to surprise the fans. But getting the next season off the ground is going to be challenging. Martin Starr, who played Dwight's reluctant partner Bodie, recently revealed that the series has many details to work out before anything can happen. In an interview with Collider, he said that none of the cast members have a call sheet yet, and he doesn't know where the production location is going to be when all the wrinkles are ironed out. I'll get to the problem with the production location in a minute, but what Paramount needs to figure out is how to work around Stallone's busy schedule. The actor now has his own reality show called The Family Stallone, which dives into his family members' personal lives. 
Plus, he has several other projects in the pipeline, including a sequel to 1993's Demolition Man. So he'll need to do some serious time management if he's committing to Tulsa King's second season. But Martin thinks that Tulsa King is a goldmine waiting to be discovered. All you have to do is look at the numbers. Tulsa King's first episode became the highest rated premiere for a new series in 2022. And it destroyed House of the Dragon in the process. I know that's surprising, but not so much when you realize that it premiered right after season 5 of Yellowstone. Paramount planned the whole thing perfectly. But a successful premiere was only half the battle. In the age where shows are being cancelled left, right, and center, and every network is competing for ratings and viewership, Tulsa King carved out a comfortable home for itself next to shows like Yellowstone and 1923. Its popularity is genuinely surprising since everyone loves Stallone as a badass, no-nonsense gangster. Andrea Savage, who plays Stacy, shared her own theory on why Sheridan's shows are so popular among American audiences. In a recent interview, she said that a lot of Taylor's shows are about older people looking back at their lives and all their regrets. His shows are about characters navigating their pasts, mistakes, and trying to make the best of even the worst situations imaginable. According to Andrea, that is what attracts the majority of Sheridan's audience. However, Sheridan wasn't the showrunner this time around. That was Terrence Winter, who created and wrote one of the greatest crime dramas of all time, Boardwalk Empire. That's why Tulsa King feels more different than, say, 1883. It has Sheridan's signature cowboy vibes to it, but not as much as his other shows. The reason I'm talking about this is because one of the challenges Tulsa King has to deal with is Terrence's departure. He and Sheridan ran into creative differences during season one, and he decided that he'd rather be an executive producer instead. The two had very different ideas about the main character and where his journey should take him. If the series wants to keep its status as one of the most popular shows around, Sheridan will need a new showrunner or take over the responsibility himself. Once he figures that out, he'll need to worry about the production location for season two. Most of season one took place in Oklahoma City, while a few scenes were shot in Tulsa. If you haven't been there, you'll know that temperatures can get up to 106 degrees. Oklahoma natives are used to that, but the cast of Tulsa King isn't. The most common complaint during production was that Oklahoma is too hot to film in. In a recent interview, Terrence Winter said that the cast and crew arrived in Oklahoma during the winter, so it was freezing, but filming was possible. But as production went on, temperatures soared to 100, and it made the entire cast uncomfortable. When the teams figured out their next shooting location, the last problem they'll need to navigate is the writer's strike. At this time, the strike is still ongoing, and several TV shows and movies have been affected by it. But Stallone is completely supportive of what the writers are demanding. In an interview with Newsweek, he said that even though the strike will bring Tulsa King's production to a halt, he's been in the same position that the writers have. He's written the screenplays for the entire Rocky series and admits that writing a screenplay for a movie or a TV show is one of the toughest jobs that you can do. While Tulsa King's second season might not begin production during the strike, fans can expect Stallone to stand with the Writers Guild of America. So, from the massive production challenges surrounding the show, to the fan theory that Dwight will become an ATF or FBI informant in Season 2, that's what to expect from Tulsa King Season 2.